started, started off in the forces in the parachute regiment when I left school. It was just something I wanted to do just to earn that berry, just to prove something to my own man. Whether, whether I'd changed or not before and after, I'm not really sure, but it kind of definitely gave me a foundation to rely on from that, from that day on, especially later on in life. Like 30 years later when I was going through PTSD, it gave us that self-discipline and drive um, that I needed to kind of get through that. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder um, and that kind of came about with a combination of attending one too many road traffic collisions, quite serious ones, vehicles on fire with youngsters still trapped inside. And I thought the way I was feeling was the pressure that everybody feels. I didn't realise it was jobs I attended that affected me the way that, that they had. I knew something wasn't right but I couldn't kind of put my finger on it. Um, so after this one particular job, again, um, vehicles on fire and I could see some people stood up opposite the opposite the car near the side of the road. I thought, happy days, they've got out. So I kind of went to the car and I put my head in and I could see two people in there, obviously dead. The job was never the same after that. I just had a bit of a sour taste, really. Just the stress levels kind of just started creeping up. You hear time's a great healer, don't you? But I didn't have a clue then or any concept of what healing actually meant. The anxiety levels at this point were going through the roof. I was having sweats, nightmares, anxiety attacks. I was back and forth to the hospital thinking I was having a heart attack, getting them to check the old ticker. And then one morning I was due to go into work. I got a phone call to say my niece had taken her own life. And that was like, somebody pulled a fuse. I just crashed big time and never went back into work after that. You know, at that time I didn't know I had PTSD, but I knew something wasn't right. So I just wanted to see somebody that had been doing PTSD and what they looked like and sounded like once I'd got through it. And I can't remember, remember looking at Carl thinking, well, I don't view him as broken. Perhaps people might not view me as broken in the future. Because at the time, I've just felt smashed and broken. I thought, who's going to employ me? I'd be unemployable. And I ended up signing on to his course. But more than anything, knowing I would get help and support on that course, as well as learning something new, I kind of got both in, in bucket loads of really help, support and uh, learn something new. And for me on the inside, what was really interesting was I knew something changed that day but I couldn't really tell you what. just felt like a hot steel ball and like something a blacksmith would have in his furnace it was just in my belly and it just, I needed the thing gone, I needed it out and um, I just kind of felt that thing, whatever it was, had left. When I got home people could see a difference in me straight away. Um, and when people tell you they can see a difference in you, that kind of makes you feel good as well. But now, because I'm aware of how powerful our thoughts are, that I know to keep them here, you know, not wander off to illusionary, unreal kind of worries of what ifs of the future or what ifs of the past. It's amazing how powerful our thoughts are, really. Once you be kind of become aware of that, that in itself helps a lot.